Hello everyone, it's just another morning and I'm gonna check my mail in Google Bard. So let's say, what are the new emails I got today? Now this wouldn't have been possible a while ago and it is definitely not possible on something like ChatGPT, which is why I'm loving the new integration that Google Bard has. As you can see, it's accessing my emails using Google Workspace and it says, these are the six new emails that you've received today. Now, there are a few more emails, which are messages and notifications from the calendar, but I've got three new, six new emails today. And uh, the best part is then what I can do is I can say, which of these emails need an urgent response and which ones don't need a response at all, right? So we can actually interact with Google Workspace, not just with email, but in a moment, I'll show you also how to interact with Google Docs. And you could do this with your Google Drive as well. So these are the new features, which by virtue of having Gemini Pro as the language model in Google Bard that we are getting access to. Okay. Now these are the emails which are important. So there is an event which is urgent because it is about to start a meeting that is happening today at 10.30 a.m. ICT, which is the time zone that I am in. And hence, it's probably an urgent one. And then there is uh, one from GoDaddy because one of my domain has been expired, right? So I don't have to really go to my inbox anymore because I know, okay, these are the two and the go to market event, I've already taken care of that. I had responded to them on WhatsApp, so I don't need to worry about that. And the GoDaddy renewals one is the one that I need to check, which I'll actually go and check. So one thing that I can do is I could just literally click on this and go into the inbox. I'm not going to show you which domain has expired. You might want to get your hands on that one. Just kidding, uh, because I do want to renew it. Probably I forgot or my credit card didn't work. But the point is that this gives you so much power that I'm literally just going to be here in Google Bard. Let's say I'm brainstorming. I'm creating a content. Oh, it's pretty hot drinking my green tea. I can just be here in Google Bard and not get distracted by these notifications because I usually keep my phones away, but I do have the tendency to go to my inbox and it summarizes all of this information. Um, I'm not able to attend the go to market event. Please write a response to the organizer. Right, so you could also do this, right? So now Google Bard will know that, okay, this is the one event that, um, so let's see, right now the extension allows me to access Google Drive and Gmail on your behalf uh, and PDF so I can provide you a summaries and even answer questions. Is there something else? Uh, write a, an email response. I am not able to attend the go to market that I was supposed to attend today to the event organizer. So one thing that people have been telling me is that your email responses are way more professional and this and that right now. So that's because I'm using these strategies with Google Bard and um, I just copy paste something like this. You know, I am writing to inform you that I'm unable to attend would be grateful if you could share the presentation slides and any other relevant material. Because when I do workshops, you know, people just, uh, people just tell me, can you send me the slides? Doesn't sound very professional. This one, I could literally just copy paste this. And now I could go to this email. I'm not gonna show you the email, but I could go to the email and then just paste this response and I'm done with the days, you know, with checking the stuff for the day. Now, that's amazing, right? What else can we do? I've recently written a book about growth marketing. And um, someone asked me a question from chapter four, 24 and I just don't remember. Actually, this happened in reality today. Someone commented, uh, replied to my emailers and they had a question about chapter 24. And I replied to each question that people have regarding the book. So I can actually say summarize chapter 24 from my book based on the Google Doc that I have. You could also mention doc, but I've seen that it works even without mentioning Google Doc um, that I have of chapter 24 of the growth marketing book. Now, this is slightly more complex because um, I don't really know if I had a file named the chapter correctly. That's why you have to be good with your file naming if you want to retrieve content like this from AI tools. But let's see if it's able to find this information 
summarizing chapter 24 from my book it's it's a big step i honestly don't know if it's able to do this but it is right so there you go chapter 24 of the growth marketing book is titled performance marketing legion that's absolutely correct because the question i got was i also remember that chapter 24 was performance marketing of course but the question i got was about performance marketing the chapter begins by explaining the role of advertising and lead gen um and then the chapter states the strategy now this gives me like a full and then it has a growth marketing book chapters document that it has picked up it has also picked up the separate one from chapter 24 so i had two or three documents so it's picked up all of this information from google docs and then summarized my book's chapter for me and that's a superpower because it's tapping into my google workspace of course i've given it access to do so and it's able to fetch that information that i need to now respond to this question i could literally now copy paste the question that i got and then tell google bar to write a response this is why i feel this is going to be way more powerful in the way we work and to support the way we work than something that we were using in the past like 2023 i was mostly using chat gpt and then we have gemini pro now which is working inside google bar and with these integrations it makes us makes it way more powerful and it's always updated which is a great add-on another third thing that i really enjoy which is another extension is i could just say find youtube videos so you could tag youtube um that are related to the chapter 24 of my book now this is interesting the way that i use this is that i also try to do my own research and expand on my own knowledge and these are like crazy ways of doing it because it sees my chapter now it's going to fetch videos that are related to my book chapter 24 um, and it comes with all of these like growth hacking um, related videos and one of them is my videos which I'm very happy to see. So those are the integrations and extensions that make BARD very powerful especially given that it's now powered by Gemini Pro. If you're not sure you can just give in the prompt and say which language model do you use based on the outputs that I've been getting so far, I'm quite sure this is Gemini Pro. So you can just prompt your Google Bard and uh, see what language model it's using, okay? Now, one more thing before we go off. Wow, that's a detailed answer. Um, let's, are you using Gemini Pro? I actually use a combination of language models. Come on, just be straightforward, right? Yep, I'm able to engage in meaningful conversations thanks to Google AI, Gemini, Gemini Pro, blah, 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 since December 6, 2023. So hopefully you guys are also on Gemini Pro. If you're watching this later down in 2024, you might actually be on Gemini Ultra, which is great. So let's just show you one more thing. If you click on the extensions, that's where you can enable the Google Workspace and the YouTube and stuff like that. You can sum up a doc, you can break it down for you. You can locate information from your Google Drive, which is something that I'm really bad at if I do it manually because my Google Drive is not the most organized place. I use the dump and search strategy for Google Drive where I just put all of the documents inside the drive and search whenever I need. And this just makes it way more helpful. So that's all for this video. These are the extensions that you can use. And these are things that you can do with Bard that you cannot do with other AI chatbots. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.